what drives me as a scientist is I'm wondering how, how does a planet broadcast its own state? How does it express itself on a planetary scale? If you look at the composition of the atmosphere of any planet, that tells you something about what's going on, about what's happening at the surface. It tells you about what chemistry is happening in the atmosphere. It tells you about, to some extent, uh, the interactions between the deep Earth and uh, sort of the, the sun from far away or something like this. So what we're trying to do, in a sense, is try and decode what these atmospheres are trying to tell us. It's sort of like trying to find the Rosetta Stone for any given planet. In Lawrence Lab, you can do this very high precision measurements that can figure out the fraction of, of these rare uh, combined isotopes and to figure out the uh, processes that might influence these isotopes and the formation of these rare uh, molecules. What we're effectively doing is we're, we're looking for a needle in an invisible haystack. We're trying to figure out how do molecules form. And one of the ways we do that is we look at the atoms within them and how they're distributed, how they're distributed amongst the different types of uh, bonds that they make. And one of the simplest ways to do that is to look at a very tiny, simple molecule, which is nitrogen. Nitrogen is three quarters of our atmosphere. So if you go to any other planet, you know, you go to Mars, you go to uh, Venus, you're going to find some nitrogen. So the question is, what is making that nitrogen? Was it life? Uh, is it just coming from the Earth? Uh, what exactly is happening? That needle that we're looking is hidden within this invisible haystack of nitrogen molecules in these planetary atmospheres. And so we've developed a new technique to be able to do this. And it's based on uh, these very rare versions of different atoms. Nitrogen has two of them, uh, one that has a mass of 14 atomic mass units and one that has a mass of 15. And when you bind the two mass 15 ones together, you get a 15N-15N molecule. And we're looking at the abundances of these within our atmosphere and also coming from different processes. For example, coming from microbes that will eat and chew up things like fertilizer or um, other available nitrogen species uh, in soils in the, and in the oceans. And we're looking at what kinds of signatures they produce. And what we found is that the 15N-15N looks a lot like the chemistry, it looks like a lot like it's being produced by the chemistry in the upper atmosphere. But it's a little bit different from that. And what's happening, we think, is that biological processes at Earth's surface are pulling down that composition. They're changing it enough so that we can see the evidence for life at Earth's surface. While it's not very remarkable, maybe, that we have life on Earth's surface, we could think of actually going to another planet and doing this as well.